And Rebecca's up next in Albany, New York. Rebecca, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thank you so much for taking my call. I actually reached out to you earlier this week, and I am just in a dilemma trying to figure out what to do next with my career. I am a freelance interpreter, and predominantly in the past, most of my work has just been through agencies, but I have a part-time job uh, where I get a W-2 rather than a 1099, and that part-time job allowed us to work from home during the pandemic but that is coming to a close um, pretty soon. So I either have to go back to traveling about three hours from my home twice a month to stay for a couple of days to get my hours in there, or there is another company that does the same thing that would allow me to work from home permanently. However, I would lose my flexibility of scheduling and have more committed hours and um, possibly evenings and weekend work. And I'm just kind of torn because I'm not sure what is the right decision to do for my family and for my career. What's the, um, what's the trade-off if you don't do, if you, if you don't take this new opportunity, which could, you know, it's going to take some flexibility for you, uh, to, excuse me, take some flexibility away from you. But what's, right. the, what, if you don't take that, what could be the other trade-off if you're out there looking for something else? Cause the other one thing's coming to an end. And so then we go, okay, now I'm going to have to do the travel. So I know that I'm traveling away and that's going to take me away. But then I got this other thing where I can stay at home, but it may mean I got to work sometimes and the kiddos have to get, you see what I'm saying? Like, what's the real trade-off? What's the real negative to when you look at both of them? There's negatives for both. Which negative is greater? Right. I, I, I feel like the negativity of losing my flexibility is greater, but my husband doesn't like when I'm away. So that's the, right, we both see it a little all differently. All right. That, that's exactly what I wanted to know. All right. So then we got the hubs who doesn't like it when it's your way because you're the CEO of the house. I, when Stacy's away, I don't like <laughs> it either because we men, we're just big babies when it comes to trying to handle the household like the women do. We just are. I'm not knocking on men. I'm a dude. Okay. But I'm saying when mm-hmm. Stacy's gone for two, three days, uh, I just I just feel like I'm screwing something up. You know what I mean? I'm just like waiting for the shoe to drop. So that's a real thing. Mm-hmm. That's a real thing. Um, but I think what you're doing is is you're you're going well. I may have to. I may have to. And I'm going. Well, we don't know if you're going to have to work nights or weekends or not. We really don't know that. They're saying it might happen. How often would it happen? <laughs> Well, they do a new round of scheduling every six weeks. So every six weeks, my schedule could potentially change based on their needs, but they're just very, you know, we don't know. It could I get maybe, it, but let's play this out. Yeah. Let's play it out. Let's say that it shifts to a weeknight thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know enough to say it would go from five days to five weeknights, or would it be a mix and match? Um, Tuesday and it Thursday? It would be a mix and match. Okay, so let's just play this out. Well, let's say that, that you go from five days a week, and we're loving that because you're at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then they go to, well, we need you Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. That's three nights that you're working. Mm-hmm. How's your hubs going to, but you're there. You're in the house. Now you're working, right. but you're there. You're there during the day, so you change your day schedule a little bit. I mean, let's play that out. How's that going to affect the family negatively if you have to work a few nights? Um, Well, me and my husband are also part-time youth pastors at our church, so it would affect if it wasn't consistent on the nights that I had to work, like if they threw in a night that I have to work when we typically have youth group. Yeah, but Um, if it was just you, is the youth group going to fall apart if it's just him that night? I would say, I know logically no, but I'm a need to be needed kind of person. Well, that's your problem. But the the point yeah. of the matter is, is that I think, I think here's what this comes. I'm trying to help you see all the practical because you're up in your head. Right. And I'm trying to yeah. get it all out of your head and let you see. I, I think you got to do what's best for you and your family. Right. That's the answer. And, and you're looking for me to tell you, if it were me, I think the two-hour drive and, or whatever it is a couple times, I, I, I think I would, you want to be more at home. And I think that, um, I think that your kid, how old are your kids? Uh, we don't have any children yet, just oh. our youth group. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh, this is a total different deal. I thought you had kids for some reason. I just I just projected that onto you. I'm sorry. I don't I don't uh, I would I would take the job where you're at home more. That's that's you would, what your okay. yeah that's what your hubs loves. You don't have any kids yet. I think he'd rather have you there. You're in the house working a few nights a week, um, and it seems like it's a more stable situation too. Correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're okay. still flexible. You don't lose flexibility. You're because you, you, right. if you're working nights, you got your whole day wide open. Right. So help him do youth pastor stuff on those days. If you got to work on a Wednesday night. Uh, then then do stuff during Wednesday that will help the Wednesday night go smooth without your presence. You're overthinking this. Take the best thing for you, the best stability thing, and and you still have flexibility. That's what I think. Okay. There it is. All right. Uh, look, folks, I, I, lo- I love those things, the practical stuff, but that's what you got to walk through. This is just good old-fashioned pros and cons, and get out get out of your head. Um, I'm happy to be that person for you, but, but if, if you don't want to call me, you got to have some in your life where you, they'll shoot you straight and they have no motions on it. That's all that happened right there. But you got to get it out. And go, I, I've been bouncing around inside my head and it's confusing. And then when you get it out and you talk to somebody, it's it's usually either really clear or in this situation, it's like, okay, if it's 50-50, there's got to be one deciding factor that's better. And the not traveling and being around the hubs more sounds like that's better for your relationship. So that's what I'm always going to pick. 